So something that's been bothering me and um, a lot of my friends for a while now, and it really was realized in Bill's you Bob uh, or Generic God Killer, and I don't think he's on YouTube anymore. Many great atheists like uh, Skeptical Heretic, Big Lundy, um, Cardinal Virtues, who I think is now redubbed himself Rithrandil. Um, had pointed this out that, uh, you know, along with Theo Warner, um, but giving credit to the, uh, the great atheists on here, or the, um, honest and, and educated ones, that, uh, fundamentalist Christianity, a literalist reading of the Bible, especially things like creationism, is extremely new. It's, it's not something from ancient times. Nobody in ancient times clung to creationism. They use something probably equally poor, which is Plato. Um, but, yeah. <coughs> well, the West <coughs> used Plato and then Aristotle. Um, but... Uh, and then Descartes and all these other idiotic things. But uh, looking at the Bible, which means books, as one book, and thinking that they all, that it's just one thing on the same level, instead of the Gospels and the Epistles of Paul being higher than the rest of the New Testament and the Testament entirely being higher than anything in the Old Testament. Um, and even the ancient church fathers like Clement of Alexandria mocking creationism as a belief that nobody would have. He, he uses that as an extreme to make fun of biblical literalists of his time so that the church never held to biblical literalism. But now it seems that atheists, many of the anti-theists, self-proclaimed anti-theists, or popular atheists, loudest, a loudest atheists on here, uh, will only accept a fundamentalist reading of the Bible instead of the fact that the church existed three to five hundred years before the Bible was even compiled in addressing the beliefs that they had instead of, uh, you know, but no, they just go for, well, the, 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 the Christianity is based on the Bible. How could it be? That's logically impossible. The church wrote, edited, and compiled the Bible and then edited it again. According to which church you belong to, there were many other edited processes done in there. I mean, it's, it's, it's ludicrous. It's it, my just frustration is people's lack of education in history. They have no concept of history of what happened or what occurred or even what happened at Nicaea. I mean, it's ridiculous.